Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, Robert. How are you? How are you? Okay, good. And you? Uh, good. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> How was your day? Um, a very busy. Okay, so you had a. Uh, well, uh, you work all day, so it was busy. busy. Good evening. Hey, hello, Lorena. Hi, Lorena. Hi, how are you? Good, good. And you? I'm fine. Better oh, than yesterday. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you slept. Mm -hmm. You slept well last night. You rested. No, 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 no. Today no? was um, very. Um, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Uh, quiet uh -huh. in the work. It was a quiet day. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that's good. The opposite of quiet in this case is hectic. 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 Like active. Huh? Hectic. Hectic. Hectic is like hyperactive. Uh huh. Exactly. Hectic means it was a hectic day. Like you had a lot of things, you know, moving around. Okay, very good. And what about your day? I was good. It was quite uh, busy, you know, not hectic, but I had a lot of things to do. And okay. yes, but um, so I didn't, I didn't feel the time. You know, all of a sudden, it was eight o'clock, and I was already teaching another class. And then, and do I you to... give, do you or, or do you teach in the morning or in the afternoon? I do, but uh, this week's no because they they suspended the classes, right? So they. Ah, okay. But okay. I was preparing the classes for tomorrow because tomorrow we start again. So then, ah, okay. then I was preparing not not for tomorrow, but I was preparing material for two weeks more or less. Okay, so I have. Okay. So I was That's I was good. very busy looking for links and classes and checking the books and stuff and. Ah, Nice day. <laughs> what well, about you, Roberto? Nice to see you. We lost Roberto. Roberto. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Roberto, la I didn't. No, 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 nunca me conté. Ah, okay, good. No, uh, have you been uh, Have you been together in these groups before? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. That's why. Yes. How how many levels have you studied in this uh, in this program? In my case, just mm -hmm. one. This is the second for you. Yes, this is the second. In your word. Um, ¿Cómo se dice cuarta? Fourth. 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 The fourth level. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. So then you started in what level? Level one. Begin a. Uh, Principiantes. Yes. No, in my case is uh, pre-intermediate. No, no sé cómo se. Pre-intermediate. Uh -huh. Pre-intermediate. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. So then, um, where do you where do you work, Robert? And I work in a bank. Okay, that's good. So you need English. Hmm? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> also. <Okay. laughs> All right, good. And you, Lorena, do you like English? No, if you need it, if you like it. Yes, I like it. And where but, do you... Mm -hmm. But I don't have um, other person with have a conversation. So I can practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this that's one of the... Mm, let's say problems, right? That uh, English needs. Uh, it's like if you you can drive, but if you don't have a car, you don't practice. Okay, then uh, English. Okay. If you don't have somebody to practice with, it's more it's more difficult. And where did you study English before? I started when I was twelve. Twelve okay. at the National University. Uh, after that, I go to the Prolingua. Oh, okay. Really, you're studying Prolingua? Yes. I don't remember what was the 
the, the name before prolingua. I yeah, think that, that was semiubes. They were in semiubes, and after they have prolingua. Some features I, that I don't were remember, in the, but mm -hmm. and uh, the last the last course was at the um, I, 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 NLC. Oh yes, I remember National Learning Center. Yeah, uh, see. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. yes. Yes, but that's very old. No, not yes. too. No, yes. No, yes. Probably yes. like ten years, more or less. Ten mm. years ago. Yes, more, I maybe. think more. I think more. more. Yes, more. more than ten years. Yeah, I remember. I I never, I didn't know that place, but I met a guy that worked in that place before. That's what I remember. So that was the, uh, that, he was a teacher there. And, and then, also I, I worked at a call center. Okay. That, mm -hmm. that helps, that helps a lot. Yes. The call centers, because but of the practice. Because the, the, the practice uh, in the pronunciation, but when the people told me, I lost because I don't understand some words. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> That was the, the problem. I, I left. I left mm -hmm. the work. Okay. I can do it. Okay, very good. Yeah, nobody knows. You should have a stay. It's just a practice. Okay, yeah. I mean, if, if you have the chance to, to work in a call center, it's great because of the listening. No. <laughs> I mean, for no, practice. I, I mean, for practicing, not to, not to live. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yes, for the practice. Maybe. Okay, Roberto, where did you study English before? And I was studying in um, Academia Europea. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. But I don't um, learn to English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because it, the thing is that they have different. It's like uh, the NLC, the National Learning Center, is they have a different methodology, right? It's that you go and practice and give a lesson, and they and then in the Academia Europea is something also, they don't have a book or it's more mm -hmm. uh, let's speak and that's it, right? Practice. Yes, they have different, met met different methodologies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel uh, very slow. Uh, the process. Uh -huh. Yes. It's very slow. No, but they say, now they say that in four months you speak, you speak English. That's the new, oh, yeah. uh, that's, <laughs> yes, that's the new, uh, what is the uh, publicity they have? Slogan. Yes. Uh -huh, slogan, right? Okay, good. Areli. Good evening. Hello, Areli. Where are you, Areli? It's cold. Hi, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Is it cold where you are? Is it cold? You look cold. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So you you are in the in the North Pole, <laughs> or in the United States? Teacher, <laughs> um, at the moment, uh, I am in a party. Oh, with the family. Okay, that's good. So you escaped from the noise for a little moment. <laughs> Okay, good. Excellent. Enjoy the party. Okay, enjoy the party. Okay, hey, Leslie. Leslie is back. A long time to see Leslie. Where were you? Where have you been? I've been working. Okay, good. That's nice. Well, not so nice because only working is not good. But... But you are, are you okay? Yes, everything is fine? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's enough. All right, people. So then uh, let's see, we're going to check a little bit of what we were doing last night. We were talking about likes and dislikes, right? For example, like uh, it says, do you like Dua Lipa? Okay, then it says, uh, yes, I do. What does she sing? 
she sings pop music. Okay, do you remember Dua Lipa? No. She's, I said, do you remember? Because sometime I, it was like two, three years ago, I heard about Dua Lipa, but then after she disappeared. So I don't know if she's in, she's still singing or what. I don't I know never, what happened. You never heard I about never her? I never heard about, no. I just remember that it was like a boom, you know, that she had to disappear. Uh, for example, this one, does she play the guitar? Well, yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Uh, do you like uh, new age music? Have you heard about new age music? What kind of music is that? It's like instrumental music, but with uh, like special sounds and stuff like that. It's, like for, me, it's, for me, music. for me, no, for me, it's just like for relaxing. It's more, more like uh, instrumental music, but very. Uh, Como que fuera música de comarca. Uh huh. But it's nice. But it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's not that, it's not, I mean, it's for real, I, I like it for relaxing. Uh, there was a, this, what is the name of this guy? There was a very famous man that he had a, a concert in the Acropolis in Greece. But I don't remember, but it's, but it's nice music. I think that if you listen to it, you will like it. Uh, what about this one? It's, uh, what do you like? Uh, do you like Madonna? Or what do you like about Madonna? First, the question is, do you like Madonna? No or yes? Who likes Madonna? Me, I like, I like, like Madonna. Her? Okay, yes, what do you... Some, some, some. Some, some. What do you like about her? Um... Just the song. Just the songs, right? Just For example, song. you know, yeah. I liked I like her voice. Right? I like her voice. She's got a nice voice. And that's about it. Yes. And the songs, right? Some of the songs. Some of the songs too. <laughs> Not all the songs. I think that at the beginning in the eighties when she began with Borderline. Borderline, I think it was one of the first yes. songs. That was a nice song. I... And and she and it sounded very nice, but now I think after that I think she got kind of lost you know, with the yes, music. Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, what about uh, you say? Do you like soccer? Do, or does he like to play soccer? And then he doesn't say who. Do you like rock and roll? Yes, I do. Uh, what does he sing? Questions like that. So the questions are correct, but they need a context. Okay, remember that when we talk about uh, likes and dislikes, we need to create a context, right? For example, the first question is, what kind of music do you like, right? Robert, what kind of music do you like? I like... Um, um, and rock in, in Spanish, rock the in Spanish. old music. Okay, very good. After that, when you hear that, then you can say, okay, um, you, if you know about a singer, you can ask the next question, right? Uh, Romeo, good evening. How are you? Teacher, good, good evening. Are you okay? Everything is fine? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, great. Okay, Romeo, um, what kind of drinks do you like? Remember drinks in general, right? Yeah. Not only alcoholic drinks, in general. Yeah. What kind of drinks do you like? Or beverages? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Cold drinks, hot drinks, alcoholic uh, drinks, non-alcoholic drinks. Juice, the... The orange? Okay, natural drinks, you know, like for example, orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice, yeah. okay, good. Okay, when do you like to drink orange juice? Orange juice, when do you like to drink 
orange juice. In dinner? Okay, dinner. For example, for dinner. Okay, very yeah. good. Excellent. Okay, okay let's sleep. What kind of, uh, let's say, of vacations do you like? I like to the, go to the beach. Okay, so you like to go out, okay? You like to go to the beach, and what, uh, what do you like to do at the beach? Swimming, um, como se dice comer, um, eat. mariscos. Eat, eat seafood, eat seafood. Eat seafood. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, uh -huh, the beach. And let's see, Arely. What kind of parties do you like? Family parties? Friends parties or uh, I don't know birthday parties. All parties. <laughs> all kind of parties. Okay, good. I like okay. parties the Christmas. And Christmas. My okay, Christmas parties. Work. Okay. Work, uh, I like parties. Uh, the family. Family parties. All too? time. All time. Uh, celebrate birthday. The okay. all family. All the, with all the family for uh, individuals. Uh, how do you say integrante? The form of part of the family. Uh, members, members of the family. A member of the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Individual members of the family. Okay, good. That is nice. Okay, people. So then, if you see here. We have the, um, well, this is the one that we had because you're going to, okay, I want you to listen to this information. This is quick because after you're going to practice the questions. Okay, listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. In this lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in Questions Part A. Listen and Practice Yes-No questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. We have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, good. What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Okay, here we go. Now I want you to remember that, do you like, uh, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Up. The, do you play a musical instrument? You say, what programs do you like? What videos do you like? And which musical instruments do you play? So the information questions go down and the yes, no questions go up. Okay, good. All right, then uh, Arely, read the questions, the six questions. Okay, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs? Do you like what video do you like? Uh, which musical instrument do you do you play? Okay, good. 
Now prepare two questions because when we finish with this round, then you are going to ask two questions to one of your friends. The first one is going to be what, and the second one is do. Okay? okay. For example, you're gonna ask, you're going to ask the two okay. questions. Okay, Lorena, read the six questions. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instruments do you play? Do you play? Okay, good. Uh, Robert? Okay, uh, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? Yeah, yeah, está bien, Rafi. What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, good. Romeo. Yes. Read the questions. Yes, yes. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you like play music instruments? What programs do you like? What video do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, good. Now the next one, uh, Leslie. Um, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? Musical, musical instrument? Musical instrument. What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Videos do you like? Do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, very good. All right. Now, a uh, Let's, uh, let me see. Now you're going to ask two questions, okay? Using what in general, okay? And one question with do, okay? For example, if I said, uh, Romeo, what, uh, let's say, what programs do you like? And then Romeo is going to say, well, I like uh, musical uh, programs or I like, um, probably, let's say, comedy programs. I like uh, news, the news. And then you're gonna ask a question, okay? Uh, do you like to watch the programs in the morning or in the evening? A continuation, okay? Another question to continue, let's say, with the conversation, okay? But two questions only. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay, Lorena. What are you doing with your pet? I mean, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's a crazy dog. I know, I can see that. They, they are like that. Okay, then Lorena, ask a question to Leslie, okay? The first question, what? And after you ask the second question. Leslie, um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink, okay. Do you like pets? Yes, yes I like pets. Continue, now okay. that you have, yes. Oh, okay. What kind of pets do you like? Okay. Um, I beagles. I like. I like beagles. Oh, beagles, the dogs. Uh -huh. Yes. Dogs. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Leslie. Okay. Now, Leslie, now you ask the questions to Romeo. Okay. Two or three questions, depending on the on the topic. L Leslie. Yes, Leslie to Romeo.
do Leslie? you like dance? Leslie? Ah, hey, Leslie. Yeah, okay. Leslie is going to ask you, yes. But I think Leslie. Excuse me. Uh, okay. do, you, do you like soccer? Uh, yes. Yes, do you? Yes, I like soccer. Continue, Leslie. One more mm, question. What favorite team soccer? What is your favorite soccer uh, team? Yes. My favorite soccer team is a national, international. Mm -hmm. National. Ah, oh my Alianza. gosh. <laughs> Alianza. Yes. Good, good, good choice. <laughs> good, okay. <laughs> you have a good choice. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good, Leslie. Thank you. Okay, Romeo, ask questions to Robert. Eh, híjole. <laughs> eh, Robert, eh, do you like... Ah, dance? Do you like to dance? Eh. <laughs> no, no, I like um, dance. <laughs> no, I don't like. No, I don't like. To no, dance. I don't like dance. Okay. Uh, what program do you like? Um, uh, my favorite program is the movies. Okay, your, your, let's say for example. Or, or my favorite, or, or my favorite. Sorry, sorry. Okay, you can say for example, I don't, because the word programs, right? To, you say, what, what's your favorite program? Say, then you can say, I don't have a favorite program, but I like movies, okay? Okay. okay. Or you can say, I don't like, uh, I don't have a favorite program but I like to watch movies. So then you have a sequence in the, in the answer. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, Robert, ask the questions to Arely. Okay, Arely. Um, uh, do you like um, the... Um, Uh, the weather cold cold weather mm -hmm. cold weather Arely, do you like cold weather like today I think Arely is went back to the party. She's dancing in this moment. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, ask the question to, well, answer the question, Loretta. You ask, answer the question, do you like cold weather? Yes, I like. Yes, I? <laughs> like. Yes, I do. I like the cold weather. Okay, that's right. You use the long answer or the short answer. Good. Continue, Robert. Uh, Lorena. Uh, what is your favorite uh, food? My favorite food is seafood. Okay. Okay. Why do you like seafood? Why do you like seafood? I don't know. I love. I love them. I love shrimps. I love all variety of cocktails. Okay, I also. love uh, a fried uh, fish. I love los calamares, los aritos de pulpo. Oh. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Me too, me too. <laughs> no, yes, it's delicious. In company yes. with a, a, a cold drink. A cold drink. A, a very nice yes. soda. Very cold soda. 
okay, or water. <laughs> a zero, Coca-Cola zero. Zero, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so then this is the... I have a question for you. Okay. Um, what do you prefer? Oh, oh. You prefer beach or mountain? The beach. Definitely the beach. Why? And because I think that uh, there are, like, for me, in my, in my personal opinion, I find more uh, activities, <laughs> activities at the beach than in the mountain. The mountain, you walk, you walk, and then you have a wonderful view. Uh, probably, if you like the nature, you can find different, uh, I don't know, uh, insects, bio biological things and stuff like that. But in the beach, you know, you can, you can run, you can rest, you can play football, volleyball, you can eat whatever you want. On the mountain, you cannot eat too much, <laughs> you know, because... So, do you like hot weather? Mm, not really. <laughs> uh, actually, if it is, I prefer, I prefer cold weather. You know, it's a, it might be a contradiction, but I, you know, when I go to the beach, it's because like, you can be in the, if I hop, if you, if you feel hot, then you go to the water, you go to the swimming pool, or you are in the, in the beach, or you are in a room where you have air conditioning, okay, or you are driving, <laughs> but uh, I you think are, the same because I like cold weather, uh -huh. but I love the beach. Yes. Yeah. And I, mean, I hate, and I hate hot weather. Yes, really, me too. Really, really, really. But you know, I was once, I went to, uh, here in Salvador, I went to, uh, what is the name of this place in Chalate? Eh, it's not El Pital. El Imposible. No, it's, it's in Chalate, Nango. It's uh, San Ignacio. San Ignacio, La Palma. No. After, no, it's after La Palma. It's like if, when you're going up in a little mountain. Rio Chiquito. No, 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 but you don't find many activities to do. That's what I don't, I didn't feel very comfortable, right? So then, but, but the weather was wonderful. It was really, really nice. Okay, very good. Hi, Adeli, you're back. Your microphone, Adeli. The microphone. No, she's still, she's still out of range. Hello, Arely, yes? It looks like if she wants to speak. Okay, so then we have the, the next one with the, is in the lesson participant will learn, or will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about contestants all people who are participating. Okay. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, 
Now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, so we have to answer 12 questions. The first one is, what kind of music does Bill like? What kind of movies does Bill like? What kind of TV programs, programs does Bill like? What kind of music does John like? What kind of movies does John like? What kind of TV programs does John like? And what kind of music does Tony like? What kind of movies does Tony like? The programs does Tony like? And what kind of music does Linda like? So then we have here Linda, Tony, uh, John, and Bill. And they are talking about music, movies, and TV programs, right? Music, movies, and TV programs. Three topics, four people. Okay, now listen again, and after the second time that we listen, we're going to try to answer all these questions. Who is Linda's date? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, now let's see. Uh, what kind of music does Bill like? Do you remember? Classical. Classical. Classical, okay. What kind of movies does Bill like? Um, I think thriller. Thrillers? Horror film? Or horror films? Sure. Okay, let's see. 
motor ones, motor films. I motor films. After, what kind of TV programs does Bill like? New programs. Bill, Bill always be the, the first one. Uh, the first one, yes. News program. News program. News program. Okay, what kind of music does John like? Uh, rock. No. I'm in the question. Sí, no. Jazz, creo que era. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. What kind of movies does John like? Horror film. For me, the first one was thrillers, and the thrillers. second one was horror film. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. News. Pro, uh, what kind of TV programs does John like? Talk show. Talk shows. No problem, guys. Do you agree? No problems. Talk show. Okay. Talk shows. What kind of music does Tony like? Rock. Okay. Movies for Tony? What kind of movies does Tony like? Westerns. Westerns. Yo creo que esas no van a salir malas. <laughs> okay, you can change people, no problem, okay? What kind of TV programs does Tony like? Shows and game shows. The... No, game show. The last one, game shows. Game shows? Yes. Now we're gonna see Linda, okay? What kind of mm -hmm. music, what kind of um, music that does she easy. like? Pop. Linda, pop. Pop. Movies? Comedies. Horror film. Comedies, now we're gonna change oh, comedies. comedies, I don't know. And what kind of TV program does Linda like? Uh, Talk show. Show? Talk shows. I think okay. Linda, Linda likes horror film. Okay, we're gonna listen once more and we're gonna double check. Okay. The first one is, the first one is wait, Bill. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Dear classmate, can we take uh, one person so we can concentrate <laughs> in, the, in the answer of, of uh, one person? Pues sí, para no equivocarnos. Okay, that could be. It's a strategy. What do you think about the idea? One person each. Uh, uh, Lorena is suggesting that uh, you take one person each. Which one would you take, Lorena? Uh, Bill. Bill, okay. And you, Leslie? It doesn't matter if you repeat. You can repeat the person. Who would you choose? Leslie? Oh, Arely is here. Arely? Yeah. Listen to the information of one person. John, uh, Bill, Tony. Tony, or Linda? Uh, Bill. Bill. Okay, no problem. And you, Robert? Tony. Tony. Romeo? What the... John and Linda. Two choices. <laughs> Just one person. La, la idea, no sé Romeo, que, es no sé que... Es Linda. Ah, oh, no, Linda. No. Linda, you're Linda going... Linda. You're Linda. going to, you are going to listen only to Linda's information. Okay? And that way you can be focused on one thing. That's, that's one way to do it. It's okay. more easy. It's easier. Okay, and Leslie, you listen to, uh, what's the other one? John, right? John is missing. Okay, now let's see. Let's see what we get. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Oh, we can see. Three here. men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? 
What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. Okay, the music, it's okay, right? It's okay. Good people, good job. Good job, good job. Now, the next one is about movies. Now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like Western. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. Okay. And now for question number three. Okay, here we have some issues. We have issue. a little mistake. We have some issues here, right? Here we have uh, three years, right? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, in the case yes. of uh, John. Where is John? Romeo, Romeo. Western. Western. Westerns, yes, Westerns. And Tony? Rock. No, the movies. Mm. Ah, sorry. And the horror films. Horror films. And Linda? Horror films, too. Horror films, too. Okay, good. Now, next topic. What happened? Got it stuck. Listen to four people on. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay. My body is the best date for her. Uh, in the last one, she has what? Um, she has two similar answers with Tony and two similar answers with... Uh, okay, for example, um, horror movies. Like Tony. Yes. Well, she likes yeah. what? She likes talk shows, game shows, horror films, uh, and pop music. Talk shows, talk shows. Uh -huh. So she has this in common with uh, Tony. With Tony, no. she has two things. Horror movies uh -huh. and game shows. And with John, only the talk shows. So apparently... Apparently, apparently would be Tony, Tony, right? Because they have like two things, the 50% of things in common, right? All right, so let's see if it is correct. The answers that we have given. Yes, right? So we have talk shows, we have uh, horror films, pop, game shows, horror films. Rock, 
talk shows, Western jazz, news program, thrillers, and classical. Okay. Then questions about pronunciation or intonation? No problem? No problem. Okay, good. So the next one says, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, now pay attention In this to, lesson, the, participants with to the pronunciation and the new vocabulary. listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. But I have to work Okay, good. Then, uh, Romeo, you are going to be Dave. And Arely, yes, you are going to be Susan. Okay, read the conversation. I have a ticket to this. Oh, sorry. Hasta encendido, right? Yes, I okay. guess. Yes, yes. Okay. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay, Arely. Um, thanks. I love to, but I does it start at eight o'clock. That sounds mm -hmm. great. Great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven city. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Gate. That sound fine. See you there. See you there. Okay, good. See you there. Uh, any questions about the expressions or vocabulary? I'd love to. Like something I would like very much. Okay. This is something like me encantaría, right? I love to. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I like it very, very much. Okay, then in the next one, uh, Robert, you are going to be Dave, and Lorena, you're going to read the part of Susan. Okay. okay. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love too. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. 
So, do you want to have dinner at 6 p.m.? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. See you there. Okay. What is a place that where you would like to go in this moment, but not your bed to sleep? If you have the chance or opportunity to go out in this moment, I where think. would you like to go? To the beach. Okay. And you, Arely? Mm, I go. I. I like to, I love. I like, to, I like to go. Mm -hmm. um, the beach. To the beach. Yes, to the beach. Okay, good. And Robert? Sorry, uh, where what would is you, the question? Where would you like to go? If you have a chance to go out in this moment. To my bed. But not the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I knew it was going to be the bed, but not to the bed. Where yes. Where would you? Um, I like to go to. Um, in this night to the beach. Okay. <laughs> so two. Okay, you can say I like to or I'd love to. Okay, remember that um, I love to has more intensity, right? Than I like to. And the contraction that you see there is would. Okay, I would like, because this is something that is not real, right? It's, where would you like to go, right? It's a hypothetical. And then you say, I like to go to the beach. I like to go to, to the, probably to the volcano. Okay. I, I, uh -huh. And then, oh, I would love to. Okay, me encantaría. I love to go to the beach. I love to go to a mountain. Okay, I love to go to a restaurant. Okay. And you, Romeo, where would you like to go in this moment? Uh, I like to be on the mountain. I like to go to the mountain, right? El Pital in this moment. Oh. I uh, like to go to Olocuilta to eat fish. pupusas. Oh my God. <laughs> With chocolate. Yes, mm. hot chocolate in this moment. With a couple, yes, it would be a really little great. bit of quesadilla, con café. <laughs> chocolate. Yes. Uh, chocolate or coffee, <laughs> yes, it would be good. Good ideas. Okay, people, so then this is that conversation. Uh, we're going to practice a similar conversation to this one tomorrow, okay? Prepare that vocabulary. Say about what, what would you like to do? If, um, for example, I have a, two tickets to go to a concert, or I have, a, I have an invitation or, I don't know, a, a coupon to go to a restaurant uh, for two people. Would you like to go? Would you like to come? Would you like to join me? Okay, I will send you some uh, questions and information to the chat so that you can practice uh, tomorrow with that. And then during the class, we can, we can have a conversation using those questions. Okay, so have a very good night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Enjoy. Night. Yes, night, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your bed, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> have a good night. Bye. Bye.